Is belting safe? Most of the time this debate happens because the word belting gets defined differently by different coaches. Belting is pulling up the chest voice resonance above or on the first bridge. She makes a really good point about definitions. And she also very conveniently gives us a great way to start talking about area of interest three and the different gestures that we can make there and how they're going to affect our sound, the sounds we can make and the sounds that we can't make, depending on what we do with area of interest number three. This is imaging taken from a study that defines these terms that speech level singing uses according to what they feel are laryngeal muscle activity and vocal fold adduction during chest, chest mix, head mix, and head registers. As you can see, they have three basic configurations here, except two of them are really the similar. We could say they're basically the same, a more open area. This is area of interest number three, actually, that we're looking at from the front. And then they have a slightly more constricted version of this. Now, if we compare that to the four vocal modes described by Complete Vocal Technique, and you can find those on their website, cvtresearch.com, you can see that CVT tells us about four different vocal modes and that they have four distinct laryngeal gestures to go with those. So what's missing from the SLS study is more narrow configurations that we could have in area of interest number three. Now that's going to be really important as we go on, but what we need to know now is that area of interest number three and this narrowing that we do is how we put a sound called metal into the voice. In yesterday's examples, the biggest difference between the two was that the first example had metal in the sound. Both of them had pretty full density, so the vocal folds were kind of a similar thickness, probably. And they were nonetheless very, very different sounds with very different results. And that difference is called metal.